Hello, people. How are you doing? Hello, Hello Mummy. Hello, how are you doing? Well, how I'm doing? Uh, well, I'm doing okay. This is an important day for me. So, this is kind of like one big thing we, we're both kind of looking forward to. We've got a special guest in the background. Um, you're all kind of looking forward to it. Um, I just want to welcome to everyone who's New Year as well. And keep sharing, keep following, keep supporting. Should I do my thing very quickly? Of course. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, my name is June Nicholas. I'm the founder and director of DNTV. For the side of me, this is DNTV, Mama D from FPI Paranormal. She is a good team member and good worker. We also got on live today. We are live on DNTV, Paranormal Red Reject, Temple Phoenix, The Things Networks, so what's that PD, one? PD Region Paranormal. <laughs> Thank you. Temple's Keys. And also Pirate Post, guys. Make sure you follow Pirate Post. Make sure you get check him out. He has 1,000 on his network. He'll explain all that. Watch the videos today. And he'll see you live on YouTube today, though, at the very background. We have got special guests. First, we shout out the names. Dorothy, go for the names, my darling. Well, we have Daryl from Lost Souls. We have... Hey, Darryl. Emmy McKenzie says hello everyone. Matt Barron hello. says what's up everybody. Becky A. Johnson says this is my first, so hello and welcome. Welcome. Angel Angel says hi Drew and Mama D. So hi Angel. Hey Angel. Um, Tiger Miller says hello everyone. We have Annette saying good evening to all. Welcome to live. And Tiger says come on Drew, spit your words out. <laughs> and Charles says hey you guys. Hi guys. Melissa says, hello. Hello, Melissa. So, ladies and gentlemen, this day is an important day for me, my wife, and my page called Panam Postmodern. Um, this woman is a really special person to me and my family, um, especially for the rough time I had. You know, she's an absolutely legend. She is amazing on her investigations. She's quite fun. We all know it. We all know her platform. We all know who she is. And for the very first time, DNT, we will love and have the great honor to bring in the one and only Paddy from the G Team. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm doing good. Wow. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. And it's nice to actually have you on DNTV live broadcasting, telling your story about what you do and who you are. I know a lot of people is probably a big fan of you and probably a lot of people want to say hi to you. So first of all, let's go crazy. Let's let <laughs> people know. Tell people who you are. And tell them, I know you're known out there, but let's go. <laughs> well, I am Patty Adams and I am the owner of the G team paranormal investigators on YouTube. I started the channel back in June of 2016. Never expected it to do, you know, that well. I mean, I hoped it would, but I never expected it. You know, I, I just figured I would get a hundred followers or something and that was it. <laughs> so, uh, you know, one thing always leads to another and um, I just believe it was fate. You know, um, I would think it was my calling uh, in a lot of ways because I've met some amazing people um, and uh, I enjoy it. You know, I, I started doing it because I had a, a passion for the paranormal and I've always had a passion for the paranormal. I've always been interested in it. I've always believed um, I was kind of a paranormal enthusiast for many years. And um, so it was something that. I decided to get into after my son lost his life. Um, and uh, he was coming to me all the time, you know, in many ways, me and my daughter. And we started documenting some of it and we wanted to share it. What better way to share it than start a YouTube channel? So that's what we did. But like I said, we never expected it to to go to the links that it has, you know, and, and to meet the people we've met and to go to the places that we've went. We never expected all that. We, that, we just, you know, it was kind of like a hobby. 
a, a hobby, but we wanted to document what we were catching so that we could share it with other people. And um, so that's kind of how it started. And uh, now here I am with you guys. <laughs> and I've heard your story and I'm just so flattered and so it just warms my heart to hear your your story about you know what you just said in the beginning and you've told me this personally too so yes. it just really touches my heart yeah thank you very much you know um to have you here it is one massive thing because it was actually you who actually um created pan and postmodern with the way you work on your lives we will well on the videos me and my wife in 2017 opened pan on postmodern we enjoyed the entertainment you given and there was other things you were doing and we saw the areas you went to and i started getting a lot of hype on it um you know you kind of showed a different path where you can have fun in paranormal mm -hmm. but also you could be serious on your ghost equipment, especially in mm -hmm. spirit box. Mm -hmm. And your books as well is really important to mention your books. It could be a lot of information for people as well. Mm -hmm. But you really did done a lot of stuff to keep people with ADHD, learning disability, any more problems. You show them how to be, hey, you got nothing? Let's make something. And that's what I enjoyed about you because you showed the passion to have a bit of fun and that's why i like about you it, it was like a lot of stuff i've learned from mm -hmm. you um my for the very first time it has come on live they come and join us free my wife very first time hi hey. hi hey there hey I, I, we're camera shy babe you know me <laughs> <laughs> I was she at first, when I first started, I was so camera shy. I, I was just, I look back at some of the beginning videos and you could just see it and hear it in my voice. I didn't know what I was, I didn't know what to say. I, I was shy. It's, you must have been very shy back in the days. Um, and I think that's what Taylor is now starting to find out is more mm -hmm. stories about it. But I mean, when we started over PPM, I used to do the filming. Have you got any questions for Paddy? I'm going to get it going now. <laughs> Sharing on your phone. Okay. So, Paddy, with the stuff you were doing, which can I just start off? Which one? I'll go through the audience in a minute. I'll go through the audience in a minute, guys. So then we can, I'll jump back and forth in a bit. But which one's your favorite locations you ever done as a paranormal first get up? And we'll start off with the equipment after. But I want to learn more about you on that area. Okay. Which, which well, my my very favorite is uh, in Tennessee, and it's the old abandoned ghost town in Tennessee. It's called Elkmont. Um, and one of the reasons I like it so much is because every time I've been there, just you you don't you don't even have to turn anything on you can hear things right through the camera and i like that i can hear it through my ears you can hear the whispers and the, the disembodied voices and and just everything you can hear sounds inside of almost every one of those houses um so a lot of the evidence that i've caught when i've been filming there was through my camera uh the spirit box catches some but it's like right through the camera you hear i'm here uh, hello, uh, I died here or, you know, or whatever you, you would hear, you hear stuff. And, um, so I like that, you know, and the one thing I don't like a be about going there is there's no cell phone service. So if you, anything were to happen, you get attacked by a bear or something, who are you going to call? <laughs> you know? I know, I know. <laughs> yeah. My second favorite is the Jasper jail of uh, same thing caught so much evidence out of the Jasper jail. Um, just a lot through the spirit box and through the camera and the rim pod goes crazy. Every time we go there, all the devices do. Um, 
there's a lot of places I, I, I just love. There's too many to mention. <laughs> I, I love them all, but Elkmont, I would say, is actually one of my favorites. Every time I go to Tennessee, I have to go back there. It's like I got, I just, I'm drawn to that place. I love it. It's, it's absolutely amazing. I do love the prison stuff as well. Um, I would love to go there one day and just see what I catch and mm -hmm. feel. Well, not yeah. feel because we all know I'll probably get a bit emotional. But yeah, there's been people that have come up missing from that area too. You know, a child yeah. back in the '60s who came up missing and they've never found him. And oh, wow. uh, yeah, it's yeah. really sad. I think I've made communication with him though a few times. I, I believe I I believe that I did. Wow. Yeah. You. Yeah. What was some communication like with that child? It's a. He said his name, um, and he uh, said uh, missing um, eight. Oh, and wow. I've heard that, yeah, eaten. That's amazing. And that this breaks my heart, but I I hate to even say it. It's hard for me to even say it, but I was eaten um, probably by a bear or something. And I've heard that, and it just, it's, it's you know, it's it's heartbreaking, but that it's what people figured probably happened, you know, that he was taken by a, a, a wild animal or something. So, um, but that, that, you know, I, I like the prisons and the jails, the haunted mansions and, and, um, you know, anything historical. I, I love places like that. Um, I like the cemeteries too, but they're my least favorite of everything, even though I seem to end up at a lot of cemeteries. It's my least favorite thing to do, especially this time of the year with the bugs being so bad, you know, it, it's horrible. You, you feel like you're just breathing them in, you know. But, do, you believe, um, do you believe it's like the cold air is much better to work with? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I like the colder weather anyway. I, I love um, from October to like April is, is good time, you know. It's, it's not so it's bad. From you, it's like the winter time. It's better to work in the paranormal field because it's much of a high proactive and it really mm -hmm. for spirits to yeah. come out. I, I got to give it to you. Um, one of your videos I remember watching is when I think it's to see your son and you communicate him with him by the grave and you caught him mm -hmm. walking by the bushes. I remember that. Yep, yep. And that's what kind of enthusiasts mm -hmm. us to get us going. Mm -hmm. That was a really different, difficult time for you, I reckon. Especially oh, yeah. Seeing, but you were amazing at it because you kept a very cool head and you just knew what you were doing straight out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe you, for some people it just comes natural, you know, because um, I've always had an interest in it. I've always believed. I just needed to learn how to operate the spirit box. It didn't take me long. Then to listen back. That didn't take me long. I just, you know, when I first started listening back to the EVPs, I, I was thinking, you know, I, 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 I'm okay. I was thinking, how, how is it that I can understand what's being said? Nobody else could. My daughter had a hard time with it. Anybody else that I would say, can you tell me what you think this says? They were like, I have no clue what that says, but I knew, and I didn't know how. But I wasn't sure because I didn't have the confidence yet. You know what I mean? In the beginning, I didn't have that confidence where I'm like, oh, yeah, that's 100 percent what that said. So but after doing it for so long, I'm like, that is what they're saying. They they're talking to me. <laughs> that is what's being said. I, I hear it so well. And um, I guess it's I don't know. I Some people can. Some people can't. Um, but. You know, and there's a lot of times where people will watch my videos and they'll say, well, I disagree with you. I don't think it says that. I think it says this. And I'll go back and listen. I'm like, no, that's not what it says. I think I think I was right, you know, but um, everybody has their opinion and that's fine, you know. Because, and then there's sometimes I, when I go back and listen, I'm like, you know what? They're probably right. That, that is, that is kind of what it sounded like. So, but I don't know. It's just in the beginning, I, I was just so blown away that how good... I, I thought it would take me a long time, but how good I could hear everything. When I had headphones on and I'm listening, I can hear it like a conversation. I can even hear the undertones, all the undertone low. I hear all these conversations with the spirits 
all talking amongst each other while there's, they're talking to you and they're even having conversations with each other. And I can hear all that. And I still do every time. Wow. Yeah. It's, that's really addictive, isn't it, Dorothy and Taylor? It it's is. Like, Definitely. It, it really wants to make you want to go again, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it does. Yeah. It's just like a band Bam. Have yeah. you guys got any question for Paddy, Dan, uh, Taylor, or Dorothy? Thank you. You asked the one that I was going to ask about her favorite place. So what would be your favorite equipment to use? Um, the spirit box and the, the, um, the spirit box, the PSB seven spirit box is my favorite, but I also really like the REM pod. That's usually my go-to. As soon as I go somewhere, I try to set it up and see if I get any activity on there and, you know, and stuff like that. But the, uh, the spirit box that's my favorite, the PSB7 Spirit Box. I have a couple of the others, but this PSB7, in, it, in my opinion, is the best. I'm, I'm just going to say this. You're, you're going to like that. Radio Shack. Oh, okay. wow. What is that? That is a Radio Shack Spirit, like Spirit Box. Um, one of my mates said to use it. Oh. I'm ready. So we're going to be going out again uh, to give it a go. Um, it needs new batteries in at the moment. But he was like, try this one. Try and play with it. Get used to it. Because I'm used to SP7s. Mm -hmm. Now I'm, now I'm going to give this one a try. But I haven't had oh. time to go back out. But that's like a Radio Shack. And it's basically the as, same over again. Mm -hmm. Sweep over. And it well, let breaks. me know how it works out for you. <laughs> well, what I'll do is I'll send my friend's YouTube link over to you. Because okay. they use it a lot more, more and often. I couldn't get grabs of the other ones, but the SP7, absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. we, have, we have got a question from um, the viewers. Mally asks, Patty, can I ask a question? Do you ever report any of your findings to the authorities? Um, I did one time, and the guy pretty much laughed at me. They, they, don't, they don't believe they, they, I, I, that kind of left a sour taste in my mouth. This was a few years back, and uh, it was a unsolved murder from this area, actually, from years back. And a name was said, and I even told the officer that this name was said, and that happened to be one of the suspects. And I said, yeah. she said he did it, and she said she met him at church. And he just looked at me like I had three heads. And he goes, do you really expect me to believe all this? <laughs> yeah, I, just, I have to report it. I don't know. I felt like I needed to say something, you know, but yeah. never heard another word back from them. And this guy is still free, I guess. So, I, you know, I, I, I because of the, it's a serious thing and it, they reopened the case, I guess. I don't want to say too much or names, but it's a, a, it was a young girl, you know, and, yeah. and it's really sad. But the name was mentioned. She said it loud and clear. And I never even put out the video because of, you know, Respect the situation. You. Yeah. yeah. Respect to you. That's that's what I like. You know, respect to you, Patty. Seriously. Yeah. Respect. It was out of respect. I didn't think, think it was, I should do that. I didn't think I should put that, put it out, no. you know. No, we, we've seen a few people have done that mistake. And we're thinking yeah. that was a bit silly. So respect you, Paddy, for that one. Seriously. Well, thank you. Thank you. You know, you need a lot of credit there because a lot of people usually get a joy of finding something and they'll be like, oh, they've got to they'll make mm -hmm. it put it on their social media. Mm -hmm. Where you didn't put it on there just because you had that respect for that child. and mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 It's been almost 30 years ago, I believe, and, and they still, you know, it's sad. I believe yeah. the police should actually listen to like um, spiritualists or, or mm -hmm. paranormal teams who does come near to find in something like that. Though I think yeah. the police should take in consideration because I'm I'm not gonna go too much on board with it, but I think when I found a missing person myself, my mate mm -hmm. come let it three mediums, different mediums, and then he come running to me. I was to find a piece of cake to get whereabouts. I was picking everything up from taste, blood, 
to is is actual clothing. And, you know, I think police should actually look for people like us and mm -hmm. like yourself uh, to work with and actually help out, you know, that'd be a good experiment to for the police to know, hey, these guys know what they're doing. They used to do it in, in America, but I think they cut down because there were so many in prep ones not actually were being really spiritualist. They were just right. wanting attention. But the ones who wanted to be spiritualists, I think they could have had support there and actually mm -hmm. become a spiritualist. Mm -hmm. Do you believe in that sort of line and like how I, the way I'm saying it? And I hope I didn't say it backwards. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's not Monday, Drew. <laughs> it's, no, it's not Monday, but I have had a Drew day, as my wife calls it. Not a blonde day, it's a Drew day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just wish that uh, all the the police would feel the way my police officer Cece feels. You know, she believes, um, yeah. and she's the one that films with me quite a bit. And she's a 21 year police officer, but she completely believes and um, has had experiences a few times herself. Um, she found me on TikTok and recognized me from Travel Channel about <laughs> two and a half. Two and a half years ago. So, yeah, that's how we ended up meeting. Um, she's like, oh, my God, it would be my dream to go ghost hunting. I, I, lo I love this kind of stuff. She goes, my TV my stays TV on the stay travel on the channel travel. all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I, so, I got to remember seeing you on the travel channel because we looked up, like, on Google. We've seen you a few times, like, on travel. We've seen you oh, a few okay. times. Yeah, they keep repeating this, a couple of them all the time. I was watching last night. I didn't see anything last night, but um, they do, you know, people message me all the time and say, hey, you're on, you're on. They're, they're showing you again. <laughs> it's just because uh, you're brilliant at it. You, you're quite fun. And you do actually take it serious, but you also bring joy. And I think my wife would agree as well. It's, it's the way you do it. It, it just makes people want to go out and keep going because of you it's Aww. that enthusiasm of again mm -hmm. you're just fun to watch well thank um, you you're very, i love having fun with it what do you well i'm sorry i didn't mean to interrupt you you're very talented as well with your you've got a gift like we said early on and your gift is quite strong mm -hmm. and you just knew how to deal with it mm -hmm. properly yeah i do garment yeah. you were pretty rock out <laughs> thank you I love having fun. Um, I, I take it very seriously, but I uh, also like to have fun. You know, I have a, a funny, quirky sense of humor sometimes. And, you know, especially late at night when filming and I get tired, I get silly and goofy. And <laughs> But we have fun. There's a lot of times where we're like, well, we're going to cut that part out of the video. But then when I watch it back, it's so damn funny. I'm like, you know what, guys? I think we should leave that, that in the video. It's pretty damn <laughs> funny, actually. <laughs> so, you know, somebody farts or, you know, just something. You know, there's always something that's happening that behind, you know, while I'm filming, it seems like somebody trips and falls or, you know, just something silly. And we just, it's just funny to watch. And a lot of people tell me, I'm glad you left that part in the video. I, that made me laugh so damn hard. I spewed my coffee out everywhere. So I hear that <laughs> a lot. A That's a good <laughs> thing. Spewing the coffee everywhere. Um, good time. You know, anything for Patty you want to say, babe? Yeah, we've got any recommendations oh. in the future. I'm sorry, what? Got any investigations planned for the picture? Yes, yes. I've got a, a Louisiana trip scheduled um, in September. And um, I've got uh, some amazing places in Louisiana. I cannot wait. I've got a trip, another trip uh, at the end of September. I think it's in, in the September. Am I right, Emmy? Matt, you in here? <laughs> I think it's in, for uh, to go somewhere with all the, all of them from, you know, the ones I met at the battleship. And uh, so we've got something special planned. And is um, that Emmy? yep, is that there she is. Yeah. Yep, yep yeah. that's P PDX Paranormal. That's who that is. PDX. So, um, huh? She put yes I, in September. Okay, September. Okay. 
So we're going there uh, somewhere special. We're excited about it. I'm going to fly. I'm not driving all that way. I'm going to fly there and Emmy's flying there and we're going to meet there and either rent a car or someone will pick us up. And, um, and then I've got uh, something planned in October uh, and in November. So yeah, I got a lot coming up and I'm right now. I don't have anything in the near future planned, but I'm, we're working on some stuff. So what hopefully it, it, I'll have something for the first or second week of July. What's that? Would you ever come to the UK if we do a oh, power yeah. call? I would love to. That's where so, my roots are. I My roots, I'm from the UK. My roots, that's, you know, I've never been there. Do you know what about that? Westminster, Weister, my, I can't say it. Go on, give it, go, give it, go. <laughs> we, we I, what? what <laughs> well, uh... Westamere or West Westminster? Worcester. 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 God, so why can't I pronounce it? How do you pronounce it last time, Taylor? Worcestershire. Yeah. Yeah. Worcestershire. From that area. That's like one of those words that everybody says, isn't it? Yeah. Like Worcestershire sauce. Right, right. You yeah. Never get it right. It's like yeah. A, yeah. Is it the brown They're, sauce? Everyone calls it. And I go, like, I, what type of brown sauce? <laughs> Supposedly, we have a there's a family cemetery somewhere there. You know, I I don't know. I'm just learning more and more all the time by talking to people on the ancestry.com website. Um, that I know. So I would love to look into it. Now, the last name I would be uh um hold on. Oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank. Oh, I'll, I'll think. I'll think of it in a few minutes, but I I, I can't think of it. Um, damn. <laughs> Beat you to it, Drew. <laughs> because I've got a friend that looks up all history. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll get you the name then. I'm just. I'm trying to think of it. Um, dang it. And say so if you can't remember, just message it to Drew, and then we'll it's get it. It's because I'm trying to think of it, so now I can't. You know Maybe. what I mean? When we go off, you'll probably think, "Oh, it was that one." Yeah. And there's a. Emmy, but that's on her bucket list. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, I definitely want to go. Hi, hi, hi on you. Can we can we just quickly go through your audience, if that's yeah. okay? I'm going to say um, I'll go back to where we left off. Um, we've we... had a few people join since then. Hi, yeah. Liz. Raymond's popped in and said, hey. Robert Humphreys has said, hello all. Nigel's popped in to say hello from the North Pole. Um, Matt saying, couldn't agree more, Drew Lee, Nicholas. We love you, Patty. Oh, thank you. Um, Emmy put, hell yeah, that's my buddy, Patty. <laughs> hello, yeah. Christian. Uh, Robert says hi, Patty. Hi, Robert. Um, hi, Christian. Christian's one of my good friends. Uh, Lost Souls has said hi, Patty. Raymond said it again. Uh, DNTV, let's all welcome Patty with a thumbs up from Annette. From Annette. Uh, That's one. We had one lady that said that she wasn't able to hear us, but then later on she realized she was able to hear us when she sorted out her sound. <laughs> so glad you're able to hear us now, um, Julie. Uh, Christopher says, hello, everyone. Alex says, come in, Brian, chilling. Christian says, you're such an amazing friend, Patty. Love you. Oh, love you too, Christian. Um, Thank you. Charles Rudd says, hi, Patty. Robert said to say, hi, Tila. Hi, Robert. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was Julie said, she's on the sound button. Jackie Chorback says, hey, guys. Uh, some love to Patty, guys, from Annette. Lost Souls. Hello, Tila. Whoop, whoop. You got this. <laughs> um, Patty is such an amazing friend I consider her more like a sister We met about three and a half years ago From Emmy Uh huh. Yeah. Yep. Alex has put The more you do it the easier it gets I think that was to Tila mm -hmm. um, Jackie yep. put wow But I can't remember what the, we were talking about At that point so I do apologise um, mm -hmm. Shaggy Rogers Greetings I tip my hat to yours Jasper Jail Is freaking amazing from Emmy Yes, it is. And I agree with Annette. We all need to move to, Mer to America. <laughs> I want to move out of America. <laughs> so much going on here. We'll, we'll swap. We'll come and stay at yours. You come stay uh, at Okay. Us. I want to come up there. 
um i've already asked that question terry says hey all sorry i'm late not a problem terry good to see you here um uh, matt's put patty moved to pa laugh my ass off <laughs> um hello from enlightened souls paranormal hello enlightened souls um terry's saying thank you for being here please share the show to the others mark lee says being able to understand the spirits depends on how open your third eye is some folk don't understand anything that they say and then there's people like you and barb and tammy on her team or his team sorry that understand them perfectly mm -hmm. wayne like says hi from spirit I within wayne. i wayne with spirit within angel says where were you by chance born on a monday tuesday or saturday i believe a saturday but i'm not sure but i think <laughs> With this, I don't know. I don't know for <laughs> sure. But I did just think of the name Keaton. 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 Yep. She's got the name. She's got the name. That's how. Down. Yep. I will get onto that tomorrow with my friend. Okay. Mary Keaton was my, uh, my mother's 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 name. And she's buried somewhere there. Mary oh, Keaton. We shall. Yep. Right, my little one's asking me if it's her book, and I'm just trying to let her know it's not her book, it's my book. <laughs> unless, unless you work for Utility Warehouse. <laughs> you can come and say hello. I'm sure Drew won't mind. It's fine. Okay, then. I need my hand to do the mouse. <laughs> what, I'll um, do is, I'll, what I'll do is come on after the live. I'll, me and Paddy will keep it. There you go. You you to come on after the live. When we're not on the live. <laughs> she wants attention. <laughs> Typical teenager. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. And Nett's okay. asking, what, what have you ever come across that has ever worried you? When my grandson was scratched three times down the back at the St. Augustine jail. That oh, wow. really worried me. And he's 15 um, and we were going there for a few days with some friends and um it was sometime last year i believe and uh he wanted to go there he's like well grandma i really want to go to that jail it'd be kind of cool you know i want to go because well, i didn't really i don't like taking the kids to places like that and so he i took him and we i was filming in this one particular room and he kind of sat down on the floor near me you know there was nowhere to sit so he sat on the floor and um all of a sudden, as I'm filming, I look over and I keep seeing him moving like this. Like, so I'm just thinking he's not comfortable, you know? So I kind of filming and I'm watching him and I'm filming and I'm looking around and, but I'm watching him and all of a sudden I see him and he pulls his shirt up and I see, him, he goes, grandma, something's wrong with my back. And I'm like, what? And I went up and it's all on camera. All on camera. So I went over to his back and looked with the camera and I saw the three scratches right down the middle of his back. I... Blimey. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. And he said, it's burning, it's burning. And uh, so something attacked him. And he's also very gifted. He's uh, mm -hmm. got a lot of psychic ability. And um, he's always seen and heard things. Um, maybe whatever's there knew that. I, I don't know why it would go after a child like that. But um Turns out there was another lady there that had her teenage daughter there and she got like a bite mark on her arm and a bruise Blimey. with around the same time that that happened to my grandson, Brock. So, uh, took him outside, put holy water on him, said a prayer, you know, did all the, all the things that you're supposed to do. And, and, um, he, he was fine, but it, it the scratches stayed there for a few days um it was pretty scary yeah i was i was really worried you know i really was worried about him because especially when it comes to a child especially yeah. when it comes to a child yeah i yeah. get you we get you but me and Taylor, um we can sympathize with you on that one because we dealt with cases where children were getting scratch or bitten mm -hmm. so we get the children fake it and out of the house and we we going to simplify you there. Simple as. Yeah. I imagine your heart was pounding like a hundred miles an hour. Mm -hmm. And 
But you just hold it really quick. You know? Mm-hmm. You hold it really quick. But you whoop yeah. that spirit and you say, hey, look, that's enough. But oh, yeah. You, you should have heard me. Yeah, you should have heard me off camera yelling and screaming at whatever it was. <laughs> I just got to imagine that I one. I just got to quickly do this. I just got to quickly do this because I can feel my ADHD is gonna pump up. So, uh, Dorothy, are you ready? I got to do it just in case. Um, yeah, I know I what's coming. <laughs> oh, what is it? It's, it's gonna be me for a minute. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. I hate when a spirit hits a child. It can go and do that one. That spirit can. Because it's a form of attack. And they find the weakness on the child. Mm-hmm. And they hurt it. And that's yeah. one thing they do. is because your child is still, even at the 15 years old, it's still classed as an innocent. Mm-hmm. And it's still class. So universal law got broken there. It got yeah. broken. And you shouldn't be doing that. But they'll do it mm. just because they pick on innocent children. And that's what it yeah. does. I hate spirits like that. Yeah, I do too. So, the lady yeah. that, uh, the curator that was there that night, she was right there with me and we were doing stuff together, you know, to protect him. And she said that um, that's like the fourth or fifth time since she's worked there that something like that's happened. Blimey. Yeah. I'm just, and, I'm just showing this one. It's your lovely team member. Yes. I remember. Yeah. Emmy was I, there with me that night. Emmy was there with us and she witnessed it. She was there. Um, and uh, he didn't want the holy water on him. And I said, uh, you're getting holy water. Because, but he was what that scared me a little bit because he was like, no, 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 no. I don't want a holy water. No, no, no. And I'm like, oh, OK, I, I see what's going on here. Yeah. Something is making you tell me no. And I, I just started flinging it on him no, and anyway, <laughs> all around his whole body. I saturated his head, his, his whole body in it. I used the whole thing of holy water on him. Grandma, what are you doing? Oh my God! <laughs> you get away from my grandson! Oh, I was freaking out in the parking lot. <laughs> oh my God! I, had I can to imagine the holy water after that. <laughs> I can imagine this whole experience. I can imagine this whole experience. The scene this, and I'll be like, mm. okay. I can see this. I can see Patty doing this, fighting this bird yeah. just to get away from it. Oh, you know? yeah. Yeah. Yep. And once I put the holy water on him, it's weird because, and Emmy can vouch for me, we noticed the difference in him. He got more calmer. He went back to himself. Oh, thank you for putting that holy water on me. Yeah. I'm soaking wet, but, you know, thank you for doing that. Oh, you think it got rid of it? And I'm like, yeah, I think so. I think it was about to get you because <laughs> he was fighting me on it at first. No, 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 no holy water. But then he went from that to telling me, thank you. I, I think that was about, I'm never going into that place again. You know, stuff like that. <laughs> what What yeah. do you ever take me there? What do you ever take me and Tila there? Or Dorothy? What do you ever take us back there? Oh, yeah, I'll go back there. I won't bring my grandson but yeah i would go back there again yeah don't take your grandson but we'll go back there we'll go so back how, long I, how long have i got to get my passport in uh, <laughs> four and a half months how was that will that be well, okay yeah. all right i'll start on it on my next payday well okay. you don't want to go there into that town in the summertime because school's out now and um oh. it's so crowded it is just so crowded this time of the year everyone vacations in saint augustine um, it's just so packed. It, the best time would be in the in the winter months, you know, sometime like after November, December, you know, back in that time of the year, but it's better to go there. It's cooler. Plus, there's not as many people. And during the week is the best time to go. <laughs> How about we go over for Halloween? That would be pretty cool. That would be cool. Dorothy, do you yeah. want to arrange the tickets then? Do you want to actually book? I'm not getting a passport first. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> got you covered on that one. I'm actually being serious. Do you want to go in October? I'd love to be in America for Halloween. Tina, do you oh want to? God, that would be cool. America. Yeah. Paddy, would you let us be a guest? We'll pay for a hotel now. 
Would you be a guest? To, would you let us be a guest? And you take us to that location. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. We'll have to pick um, we'll we'll have have to to video. Huh? I'll have a, I like to yeah. do a little investigation. And uh, yeah. bring my along. Yeah, I would die. Yeah, that would be great. I'll uh get a hold of them. If you guys are gonna do this, I'll get a hold of them way ahead of time and get it get it scheduled. If you want to do it, guys, there. we can do it. Do you want to do it? Tina? I'm just gonna get it now. I'm with Say that again, babe. No, November. Well, yeah, Halloween would be good. Yeah, never mind. I have something else going on in October, but I can't remember the exact dates. I think it's more towards the middle to the late, late October, but not, not on Halloween. I have a TikTok fan meetup to go to at my, my police officer friend's house. <laughs> Got a lot of people coming there. She lives on like nine acres. So uh, there's going to be a lot of people coming there and it's going to be a weekend shindig. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna look forward to this now. I'm gonna look <laughs> forward to it. Um, Patty, we got some questions here coming in. So, okay. uh, Dorothy, can we look for the questions? I was just gonna quickly say hello to Siobhan because it's the first time that she's been here. Oh, hello, Siobhan. Siobhan, Hi. did I say it right? Did I say it right, <laughs> Siobhan? I'm, I'm, I'm saying, I've okay. said it as Siobhan. So, oh, okay. <laughs> if if it's wrong, it's my fault for saying it first. <laughs> Um, Daryl says he's coming. <laughs> Who? Um, uh, one of our crew members. Daryl, one of our crew. Oh, okay. Uh, if you um, have subscribed to the G team and Paddy, please do. I will share the link. And that's coming from Robert. You spoke to yeah. the other night. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Yes. Um, oh, one of your team members. Oh, that's freaking awesome. So that's uh, Emmy. I yeah, think I said her name. Emmy. Oh, she's like yeah, a, like a. If you guys come down here, she's gonna probably come down from Oregon. She's gonna want to be here too. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I'm not missing out on this. <laughs> no, no, we will we'll definitely come down. I'm, I'm hundred percent with it. If Dorothy's with it and Taylor's with it, then, and we all agree. Then, I'm a yeah. We're and I could take you to the Jasper Jail too. Do okay. Cases. Yeah, yeah. Actually on holiday now, then. We'll just make sure we've got a baby Huh? Oh, no. We don't worry. We'll bring Mama, we'll bring uh, Dom as well. So Dom can have a bit of fun as well. <laughs> yeah, I've got it's a couple places I can take you to. Definitely. And St. Augustine, that whole area is very historic. And um, it's the oldest city in the United States. It was established, I believe, in either the 15 or the six, I think the 1500s. You all in Florida. Okay, Robert, sounds good. <laughs> Looks like we're He's, doing a round trip there. <laughs> well, Robert, I work for Robert. Um, we're part of Team Links, and he yeah. is our USA division on the NTV. Mm -hmm. So he works for me, I work for him, and we all kind of network in, but it's really cool. I, I think there's a lot of messages here. Um, we're missing out. So, Dorothy? Um, there's one from Lost Souls. It says, question for Tila. Sorry, Patty. Oh, but no, where's you're the fine. best place you have been that you would go again? Nervous Castle. <laughs> sweet. <laughs> explain, explain why, though, Tim. Explain why. And, Paddy, you want to go here? Yeah. I would love to go to a castle up there. In 2018, we went there and we seen the and he was all running Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to tell the rest? Well, one of our team members, Chris, ran after us, but there was only one way in and one way out of the place. Where we've seen this creature type thing, it was a big rock on the other side. I just mm. ran a tall pinkish fur, which is weird. I had like horns on it. Blimey. Wow. Okay. Before we seen that, we had the eternity now. We had we basically had the three trinity knocks on the wall before we seen that. And it was a really wow. it was literally tall and it was all pink. Pink as 
you can see like pink mm -hmm. thing. It had horns and it had legs as a hoof, and it pointed straight directly at me and the team. So it literally did. And then as soon as one of my all my team members, sorry, but Chris was the main one who run after it, and he climbed on top of it, and he looked for the person whoever it was because it was on Halloween. We thought it was someone dressed up messing about. How did the heck did it escape up there so fast? It was no way out. Yeah. Strange. Ooh, yeah, that is strange. And at the same time, everyone started from the second floor. Say again, Teal, you're breaking up, babe. At the same time as that, everyone started from the second floor. Yep. Everyone at once started feeling sick. Literally. Wow. That's not good. Yeah. Yeah, I've been to a couple places that made me feel sick, but I always wear a lot of protection, as you can see. And <laughs> that's, that's funny you should say that because the next question was What precautions do you take while on an investigation? Do you use talismans, amulets, magical squares, or do you smudge before and after, or do you lean closer to the spiritual or relig religious aspects? instead of the magical and yes i'm aware there is a fine line between the two yeah i, I uh, a little bit of, of a couple of those um i pray i do pray before i go in a place and i do smudge um most of the times there's times where i'm in a situation and i i just i didn't you know i forgot or i didn't ha whatever it's, you know situations are different yeah. sometimes but um, for the most part, I do before and after. And I do say the before and after paranormal prayer that I have, and um, which I can send you guys a copy of it if you want. It's a good, really good one for before and after. And uh, I do wear a lot of crystal jewelry. Um, I totally believe in, in it. Um, a good friend of mine, Julie, she may be in the chat. I don't know. But um, she has a crystal shop and uh, in my area. And I, uh, nope, that's not her, but that's oh, one of my God. friends though. That is one of my friends, Julie. Hi, Julie. That's a different Julie, but, uh, <laughs> so she owns a crystal shop. Um, and, uh, it's funny how we met, uh, before my husband died, him and I were walking around the flea market and he always loved crystals. And I really could care less about crystals back then. I hate to say it, but I just like, hey, what is your fascination with these things? You know, you know, but he always was just so fascinated with crystals. But growing up, his mom loved crystals. So that's why he liked them. I get it now. But um, at the time, you know, I was just like, eh, okay, you know, oh yeah, those are pretty, but what we get, you know, they're just going to sit around and collect dust, you know? And he's like, no, 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 there's metaphysical properties. And he would always go on and on about it. So we we're in the flea market one day and he sees this crystal shop over there and he goes, oh my God, a crystal shop. And I go, all right, you go ahead and go over to the crystal shop. I'm going to go over here where the purses are. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm over here looking at the purses and he's over there at the crystal shop looking around and I see him, you know, over there, I kept looking over and I'm like, well, he really loves those things, you know? And, and, um, a few minutes later I walk over there. Well, he's actually get over here. You gotta see this, you know? So he introduced me this, you know, and it was Julie. That's how, that's kind of how me and Julie first met. Um, Mike met her first. And, uh, so, um, he ended up purchasing a few things and, um, Long story short, you know, we, we, every time we go to the flea market, we both stop in there. And then eventually, you know, wasn't long after that he died. Um, and then when I went in to tell Julie, uh, about it, uh, she couldn't believe it, you know, and, um, but, uh, her and I became really good friends after that. And I knew how much he liked crystals that I wanted to learn more about it. I said, you know, I feel bad that I didn't do it before when he was here because he always loved crystals. I want to know why he loved them so much. Can you teach me something? <laughs> Tell me something, <laughs> you know? So she did. She started, uh, you know, t talking to me about the different ones. And, 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 I, and I found myself getting drawn. Like, you know, I would always say, hey, what are you doing today? Are you at the shop? You know, I want to come in, you know? And so I started going in there a lot more and sitting with her and, while well, she the customers would come and go and I was just learning and I started really taking a liking to them. And now, you know, I, 
I know a lot more about crystals than I, that I ever thought I would, you know, and um, what really made me a believer was, well, for, let me back up a bit. She always, okay. So when she knew that I was going to be going to certain places where there, I could possibly come in contact with a bad spirit, she hooked me up with all kinds of protection jewelry and said, you need to wear all of this and it will protect you. And I'm like, are you sure? How is these little things going to protect me? She goes, just, just trust me and just wear this stuff. So I'm at this place filming. Uh, it was a prison and uh, found out there was a woman that had gotten possessed in one particular area of this prison. Well, I was with a couple people that decided they were going to go into that area. And I'm like, y'all are crazy. I'm not going in there. I'll stay right here by the door. And um, so when they were in there, they started experiencing weird things and they felt they didn't feel right. They felt sick and all these things. And I'm like, y'all need to get out of there. I'm telling you, you guys need to get out of there. And they finally got out. But as I was backing away from the door, I backed away from the door area where I was standing because I started feeling like something was coming for me. I felt like it was right on me and it was a very heavy feeling. I can't even really describe it. And all of a sudden, all my crystals on my necklace, my, my crystal bracelets, everything started heating up and vibrating. And, it, and I felt it. And I'm like, oh my God, what, what is happening? You know, why are these things vibrating and they're hot? So I took off and I literally ran. I got the hell out of that area. And uh, I had contacted Julie shortly after and told her what had happened. And she said it was protecting you. That's what they do. It was blocking this entity from harming you. And she said that's what they're supposed to do. They were doing their job. I'm, like, I'm hooked now. I believe. I believe. You know, <laughs> that's it. That's all I needed to know. I believe now. So that's why I always wear. You know, not only because of that, but because I think they're pretty anyway. You know, and there's so many different ones. Um, but jet is a really good one for protection. Um, a black obsidian, uh, uh, tiger's eye, amethyst, and, uh, uh, the quartz, the quartz, uh, the crystals. Uh, I also have, uh, uh, a lot of these, if I can find it, everything's wrapping around my hair. Uh Oh, where'd it go? Shit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I don't Sorry, see we, it now. Rose quartz in her left pocket has stopped her restless leg syndrome. I have another one. I don't see it though. But anyway, it's like the, it's uh, well, I have. It's like this. It's this is selenite, and I wear a selenite on on my shirt. It's somewhere around here. I don't know where it went. It's probably down yeah, in my you shirt. You wanted some protection, didn't you? Like to what? keep the spirits away. What's that? Selicot, it's um, it's more for light and protection than that. Yes, oh yeah, and you can wand yourself to you know clear away any energy, bad energies from you and stuff like that, yeah. which is something that I do. Um, you can use this as a charging plate to set your other crystals on, you know, to charge them. Yep. Um, you of course put them out under the moon. Uh, you know that char the full moon charges them as well. But uh, I have probably ten of these around here. Um, and I have uh, crystals in every room in my house, even the bathrooms. <laughs> yes, yes some of what your friend said. Ha ha, check your bra, Patty. <laughs> I, I, I didn't want to say it, but yeah, that's probably where it is, Demi. I didn't want to go digging right now. I'd look kind of silly <laughs> on camera digging yes, in I, my shirt. I have a friend over in the States that makes um, pendants for different things. Mm -hmm. And she sent over what well i paid for it as well obviously because i wasn't expecting her to do it for nothing she did an anxiety pendant and my daughter has been struggling with anxiety for the last few years but she started wearing it to school and she's finding that she's yep. a lot more calmer at school mm -hmm. and at first That's i was awesome. like i didn't think that something so small right. could it have such a big impact mm -hmm. so i be getting some more in the future <laughs> good well check out julie's website she does ship to the uk but yeah. her prices are cheaper than probably anybody that i've ever seen yeah. i've been all over the place and i've seen crystals and i can't believe some of the prices julie does have the best prices 
Yeah. If, if, if you, you want get to. more for it. If you want uh -huh. to. If you want to, we can put a website on DNTV and also DNTV's. Uh, yes. The vision okay. as well. Okay. And if you uh, use the code at checkout, Patty20, you get 20% off your purchases, which That's is a, a good, she does that for all the, yep, she does that for everyone. Um, every, and a lot of people that are watching right now may have already purchased stuff from her. I'm not sure. I know Emmy has. Uh, okay. Emmy has, yeah. Oh, go sorry. Ahead. No, I was being rude then. Um, go ahead. I was just going to say that Emmy has a huge collection of crystals too. She's a crystal guru like me. <laughs> I love crystals. You know, we use them. Um, can it, I, well, we use them for protection around the house. Mm -hmm. This is one them. of my favorites too. Oh. oh, that is beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that, that's gorgeous. That's just one of my amethysts. I have one that's even bigger than this. I have several of these. I just, this is my favorite right here. Um, and then I have a, a the citrine right Ooh. here. Isn't wow. that beautiful? Oh, they're beautiful. I know it. I love, I just love them. I have a lot. I just keep a couple in here near me, you know, and. I have some over little ones over here and stuff, but I have them in every room of the house. And my so, granddaughter is now starting to get interested in crystals, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> crystals are very powerful, especially when you use them in magic. Mm -hmm. Or mm -hmm. use them into other stuff, but mm -hmm. they're good magic. It's always everything good. has energy. Everything has an en everything's energy. You know. Yeah. Definitely. Yep. Definitely. And the, so, the um, energies of, uh, of crystals, what Julie tells me is it, 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 it vibrates at a much higher level than entities, most entities. That's what she, that's what she's told me. And I believe it, you know, so I can believe it. No, I can believe it. Cause we got mm -hmm. some here, uh, which I can't say on altar cause, uh, at the moment, uh, me and my wife is doing something different. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, we have got some stuff I will show. After the okay, life. okay. Um, but um, where can people find you? Where can people find you on social media? Even we all know you, and we love you the bits, and we're crazy about you. But there's the new oh, people. You. The new people that oh, come on the G Team Paranormal Investigators on YouTube. Um, so you can go over there, and uh, also on I have a Facebook page, the G Team Paranormal on Facebook. And uh, I also started a meditation channel about four months ago. So I have meditation videos too that I, that I post. So if you like meditation videos, I have a meditation channel. Look at you. <laughs> you do. I love it. I love Write it down. It's called clear minds meditation. And then by Patty, I had to add by Patty because now someone hit somebody has opened up another one. And probably bought subscribers because you can't tell me within a month's time this person already has like fourteen hundred followers nice. with tw with twenty views on each video, twenty, twenty five, forty views, fifty views. It just doesn't make any sense. So I've reported it, it, and they took my my channel name that I that I have. So I'm I had to add by Patty at the end of it. So you just look for that one. Make sure you look for that one, guys. Make sure you do because it'd be nice. It'd be awesome. And also, I'll be in there too. I would definitely do in that because uh, I definitely need some uh, <sighs> chilling time. Yes, yes. I, I tend have... to listen to them when I'm going to sleep at night. I have some rain videos, some really good rain, the sound of rain and thunder I'll videos. Pass those on to my son because he likes them. Okay, my grandkids, uh, the boys especially, watch every night. They turn it on every night because they love the sound of rain. Um, it helps them sleep, and. Um, I've done a lot of research on stuff like that and, and, you know, before starting this channel, but I've been watching meditation music videos for probably four or five years now. And I just decided about four months ago, I can do this. I need to do this. I want to set up a channel doing this. I think this would be cool. It may not ever take off or go anywhere. It may just 
but it'll be fun doing it. And I enjoy doing it. Uh, it's relaxing just sitting here putting these videos together. I get so relaxed. It's like the me time. At night, I, when everybody's in bed, I sit here and I'm like, all right, I got my coffee, my tea, whatever, and I'm going to I'm gonna put together a video. And it's to me, it's just relaxing just doing it. So I just love it. I'm having fun with it. Uh, like I said, it may not ever get past. It's Right now, it's at 109 followers. It may not ever do much, but I don't know what it's going to do, but I just, I don't care. I really like doing it and I'm going to keep doing it because I like it. <laughs> you know, I'm going to spot this woman straight out. Uh, I'm totally ADHD and, uh, I'm sorry, dyslexia. Patty's channel is amazing. Oh, that thank is. you. That's from Emmy. Emmy, I'm going to say something. Uh, Dorothy's son and myself, um, we ADHDs and, we actually support our group with ADHDs. We actually do have um, a flag symbol for us. Um, not many people talk about it, but I'm mm -hmm. definitely full down. If you ever want to chat, I'll talk on you. I'll have you on my show. And straight out, we support the ADHD society because uh, mm -hmm. I think what a lot of people doesn't learn about ADHD, it's very hyperactive, but they have mixed motion. It's a mental mm -hmm. health. Mm -hmm. situation but a lot of people yep. just lose it as it's bad behavior it's not it's mm -hmm. um really about they have emotion moments where they can't help having a meltdown or yeah and help having a hyper and i i dealt with a lot in many places where people have didn't understand me because i speak different or talk way different to most people like only a few people in hand, which my wife said, um, only a few people in hand understand my emotions or my behavior. Like Dorothy, she could tell you it was a pretty hard course for me with an ADHD, but it keeps me going. Stuff like this keeps me going to stay positive. And having, on, having you on here and everyone else, it's it's amazing to thrive because you're rewarding. You're like you were one of my trophies. I actually got to speak to you from oh. seventeen <laughs> to now. Wow. We, my, we actually said one day we will get to speak to Paddy. Today was that oh. day. <laughs> we we'll quickly say hello to Brian. Uh, that just warms my heart. It really does. It means a lot to me that you, you know, that you guys are great people. And I can tell you, you're very special. You're, you're great people and um, new family. <laughs> the family's growing. Yeah. Mr. Managers, yeah. yeah. Mr. Manager, yeah. the pain in the neck. I always <laughs> call him. Oh. You'll he, have me. Yep. Though. Patty, my, he's my manager. Yep. <laughs> Patty's manager in the room. <laughs> Mr. P I actually talked to him earlier on. He, me and him all, we had a right laugh. Um, yeah. I'm quite proud of actually Brian because he finally got that, um, is it the app bit up to a thousand mm -hmm. sub? So, he did. Go and check got him out. Go and check him out. Power post. Really go and check him out. Yes, yes go no, check no. him out. But Paddy, it's gone over my hour and I would rather go over my hours to chat to you the whole day. Can I say one thing? Sure. The readings, yeah. the readings I done for you. How do you feel about it till today? Was it really? It was amazing because one of the things that you told me was something that I had been feeling, and I hadn't really shared it with anybody other than maybe a couple of my close friends that I talk to every day. That my stomach has been bothering me a lot lately. So for you to mention my stomach, are you having a stomach issue? I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yes, I am. You know, and then when I, like I said, I, I, called, I told him before we went live, I said, I told my doctor about it. My doctor is a firm believer in paranormal and psychic ability. So when I told her what you said, she said, oh, that's it. A psychic medium told you that I'm scheduling you for an endoscopy next week. <laughs> 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 so I got to go next week, but they're good when they do the scope, you know, and they put me to sleep. But 
the reason why she's taking that so seriously, because I, I did have an issue about 10 years ago where I had a precancerous stuff in, in my stomach. They found like a precancer, like pre, pre, like early, early. Um, and that's scary. And that's the last time. Well, no, I had it done again five years ago and everything was fine. They didn't find anything five years ago other than ulcers. I do have some ulcers that kind of lay dormant until they're aggravated and then they, you know, flare up. Yeah. Um, but that's all they found, but they recommended I come back every five years anyway. So it's something I needed to do anyway. But by you telling me that it really kind of gave me that kick in the butt to go <laughs> do it. Yeah. Yep. And then I'm trying to remember what else you said, like the Mike and yeah, Gary, you told me some messages from Mike and Gary both. Yeah. That was pretty amazing. You're Straight definitely spot on. And my friend wants to get a read. Two of my friends want to get readings from you this weekend, if, if that's okay. We can bring them both up together if you want. Yeah, bring them both up together. Okay. Um, okay. It's it's a matter of things. And I would love to keep making sure, you know, every couple of other weeks, if you want, you can message me and say, Drew, I would like to have a reading. You're more welcome okay. to have that because, you know, you need someone there to really comfort okay. you as a friend. I always yeah. has a, a spiritualist and that. You know yeah. yourself. We keep connections mm -hmm. on our people who we really care about. I would yep. love to do that. So. That would be great. And I, I'm willing to come back on your show anytime. Just, just let me know if you want me here. And, you know, you. if you got to do a show and you don't have any somebody backed out on you or something and can't make it, just let me know. And if I'm available, I, I don't mind at all. My show is open to <laughs> My show is open to That's a shock, actually, guys. I didn't know she was going to do that, but that was a shock because <laughs> I love Patty the bit. Um, uh, Julie <laughs> has said praying for you, Patty. What's that? Julie Jewett Mickey has put praying for you, Patty. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I've been worried. It's like what's been happening to me for the past month or so is like every time I eat, I start feeling sick, no matter what it is. And I eat very healthy because I'm trying to lose weight. I've gained about 40 pounds in the last two and a half years and I want to lose it, you know? So, and I've, I've already lost some, but I'm really being careful what I eat and I eat good. I take vitamins and minerals every day. I take so much stuff and I really try to take care of myself, but my stomach's just been bothering me. You know, it's like every time I eat, I feel, Oh God, what's wrong with me? I, I can eat a banana. And then all of a sudden I, I don't feel good. And I'm like, this is just not normal. And it's been getting worse the last couple of weeks. So, you know, it's knocked me down a couple of times where I just, just laid in bed, you know, and I'm like, what am I doing? I, I, I need to go get, find out what's going on. And then I talked to you and you said right away, you said, are you having a stomach issue? <laughs> I about fell out of my chair. <laughs> I and never, you, stomach, how else would you know that? <laughs> your stomach issue was like, it was being off balance and I felt sick. Yeah. yeah. I said, I'm feeling sick. You're having stomach issue. Are you having stomach issue? And like, you, yeah. can feel, you can feel how sick she was feeling. It's like mm -hmm. she wanted to throw up on the live. Yep. Yep. And I went on live on a, on a chat. She felt like she wanted to throw up. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, whoa, I'm feeling really off balance here. And then it, Start again, family member through, and then your husband whoosh comes straight in, <laughs> bam, hits me at the same time when I was feeling sick. And I remember you said safe word. We're not going to say safe word because that's that's your word. Okay, you know when it's real. Mm -hmm. That's he said the safe word, and that's when it happened that day. It was just I felt like I was connected to her and her family. Just felt like being a part of that area being there mm -hmm. just communicating mm -hmm. and it's nice i dealt with some funny communications but i also dealt with like that part and i think it was a pleasure and an honor to get to give you a reading um yeah. it is awesome. really great. it really is yeah thank you it was awesome it really was i just i called my doctor right away because i we're on I mean, we're, we talk on the phone, you know, we're, we're friends. She's not just my doctor. She's a friend. And, um, yeah. So I'm scheduled to go in uh, Tuesday to get the prep, uh, the, what do you call it? The consultation for it just to, yeah. you know, yeah. 
You'll be all right. You'll be all right. Just don't ask me to that. You rock the room. You rock. <laughs> yeah. You, you do something, Randa. You, you're fine. You're I fine. think I am. I think I am. And I prayed about it too. And my friends are praying about it too. So we had to. We had I can't to. be going anywhere anytime soon. I got. I got. I got a lot to do. I don't think. It's that bad. <laughs> I don't think it's that bad. I think. Okay. This, personally, I do believe it just be like something going on. It just need to. Have a little look. It could just be where the bowel is just need a bit of washout, like most people mm -hmm. does. When mm -hmm. I mean the washout, that's a fun way to do it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I need to clean my pipes. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I'm not a doctor, but I can make some funny. <laughs> well. Been, the day they do that down the throat and they're putting me to sleep, I'm going to go ahead and tell them do the other one too, because I want to just do it all in one day. So I'm going to be ready, getting it from both ends. Okay. I'm not looking forward to it. Nobody does, but it, it is important to get it done. You know, especially when you get over 50, you really need to get it done. I've already lost two of my longtime friends to colon cancer. I two think that's of them. a real serious case we have to respect is, Listen to Patty. If you've got an illness, go and get a check out. Yeah. I know it's scary, but yeah. life is more important. Mm hmm Okay. It is. I mean, two of my friends that were my age that, that I knew for since I was in my twenties, and they both died within the last seven years. And um I've lost a lot of my friends in the last it's weird. A lot of my friends have died now. Uh, heart attack, stroke, cancers, um, uh, mysterious death where she died in her sleep. They think it was drugs. They think that she took too much of something and it stopped her heart because she was on a lot of stuff because of some health issues. And um, so it's very unfortunate that, you know, yeah. that ha and now she's a grandma and she's not even here to enjoy being a grandma. And it's just really sad. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I, the one friend that he told me, he kept telling me that his, he was having like some symptoms of something. And I don't want to get into the details because it's kind of gross, but he was telling me stuff. You know, we worked together for a long time. We were both accountants. And um, I, I kept telling him, you need to go get checked. You need to go get checked. You need, I don't know how many times I must have said, you need to go get checked. You need to go get checked. He didn't do it. And then they found out it was four, stage four cancer about a year later. Had he listened to me, he probably wouldn't be faced. He would be here right now. You know what I mean? It was one of my really close friends. I'm sorry. Um, it's just really sad. Uh, so, yeah, I'm a, I'm a hypochondriac. <laughs> if, I, if I have any kind of aching pain, I'm on the phone with my doctor. Hey, I got a pain in my right thigh. What do you think that could be? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd be the same if I had a doctor friend. <laughs> well, she'll tell me come on in let me check you out you know and i'll go in and she'll poke around well where's it at and i'll tell her and she's like ah uh, you you probably have to fart <laughs> <laughs> she said that to me one day she did she had me laughing we were in there laughing so hard and everybody was wondering why were we laughing so hard <laughs> <laughs> all right my guy uh, it's time for an end patty thank you for coming on here um, I can't believe you offered to come on here if we needed you. I'd be literally, yeah. my door was open. You shouldn't have said that now because I'd be like, I got the awesome party. Yay. <laughs> as long as I'm not busy, I don't mind. But I do get kind of busy sometimes, you know, with just working on videos and out, you know, out filming, um, uh, you know, taking I'm with care you. Of kids. Taking care of the kids. Right now, they're all upstairs in their rooms. I told them I was, when I tell, one thing they have respect, they do have respect, is when I tell them I'm going to be on doing a podcast or a live stream or I'm busy, can you stay up there and don't make no noise? They're so quiet. Wow. They don't, yeah. Once in a while, they'll text me and say, uh, are you done yet? Can I come down there now? <laughs> That's what I get from my son. I'm surprised he hasn't done it already because he was halfway through sorting dinner out when he realized what the time was. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, why you saw him pop in and out earlier. Yeah. Sometimes say. they do, but usually they, they stay up there. They, they're they like, eh, I don't want to bother her, you know. I was yes. going to say the game. I, I lost the game. 
Oh, I like drove. <laughs> Would you it's, lose? A game. it's a psychological game, Karen. You can so basically when you say to everyone it's lost the game, you gotta say only one person can lose a game. You gotta say to the queen. That's you how you win it. You have to say to the queen that you've lost the game. Oh. So if anybody is watching, I do apologize for Drew. <laughs> <laughs> but the then it's all, but it's my son's fault for starting it all in the first place. <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching DMTV. Once again, we appreciate Patty coming on there. Tila, babe, for the very first time. Thank you for coming on DN TV and actually coming here. Um, I hope you did enjoy the show yourself. You're very quiet. I'm going to get you back on the show because you yeah. shouldn't be quiet. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to do something with you tonight. That's that's it. We're going live shopping. Right, now. I think we need to go now, then, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Thank you, anyway. you guys for having me. I appreciate it. It was great meeting you. I'd met Tila the other day, but it was great meeting you, Mama D. Likewise, it's been lovely to meet you too. She said, "Likewise, wow, mm -hmm. you're old school." <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> it just shows that we were brought up properly. That's oh, okay, yeah, all right, all right, all right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching DNTV. My name is Drew Nicholas. You met Guru Tila and also DNTV. But the special guest was amazing. GNT. Whoa, I'm going crazy here. No, it's the G team. Pan on. <laughs> this is how mad I am. This is how crazy I am. I always make mistakes. I always do, and I will always will. But don't forget to check out all these beautiful pages. DNTV, Paranormal Red Rejects, The Things Network, PDPB Rejection PDPB. Paranormal. I can't do it properly today, Dorothy. This is unfair. <laughs> so <I hope laughs> make sure you check out Skeleton Key and the final, the simple legend, the one and only Parapost, uh, Mr. Brian. I just can I'm not going to say his full name, so I was getting it wrong. Okay, <laughs> and the YouTube channel. Make sure you check out also Lost Souls and FBI Panon page. Check out Panon Postmortem as well. We have got some new stuff coming up, and one of the new stuff is with Paddy. We're gonna be look like we're gonna be coming to America. Yay! Yay! So that would be I'll awesome. Get the, we'll get the passport coming and all going out. Make sure you guys keep following, keep supporting. And remember, you only have fun, but you only have one choice in life. Keep playing out there, guys. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna play the intros. Okay, I'm a bit slow. I'm being me again. All right, see you in a minute, guys. Be in the back seat. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. A little bit. You know, the weirdos never find other weirdos weird. I'm always weird. And that's a good thing. Right? Right? It's a good thing. More people should hang out around other weirdos. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. People, how much of a legend. Everyone's calling you a legend, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you. What's up, Jamie? Got to see so many people that I know. Hey, I want to <clears throat> I want to do a quick shout out to my little buddy, uh, Scott Kelly Duffy, who's watching. He is a... Uh, diehard member of the way of the cobra dojo so I want to say hi to him and everybody else who who has bought my book and uh you know become become a part of the uh way of the cobra dojo